McLaughlin and Harvey, with support from our supply chain, have volunteered to support local community organisations and schools to complete their projects. We have generated social value for Birmingham's communities through our You Matter Community Scheme, which is focused on giving our resources back to the community through small grants, through volunteer time and through the resource bank, which is donations of excess material. In collaboration with Arup, we helped Hawthorne Primary School based in Perry Bar to create an outdoor forest classroom area by providing small grants and materials through the resource bank. For us as a school, this area was a forest school area, but it was really run down and our funds in school didn't quite reach the amount that we needed. So we reached out to a company called Arup, who then put us in contact with different partners working on the Alexander Stadium. Following the initial meeting with Arup where the area was redesigned, CG Reynolds have created all the woodwork and McLaughlin and Harvey have funded the pagoda and the topsoil for this area. The process was quite straightforward. We've created links with local companies such as McLaughlin and Harvey, Arup and CG Reynolds. We've created links with the community with parents helping clearing the land. This area will help the kids who struggle in a classroom environment develop their social and emotional skills, create new friendships and develop other skills they necessarily wouldn't get just from learning from a textbook in a classroom. I think for us we know that a lot of children live in high rise flats so they don't get a lot of access to the outdoor environment. I'm really excited about seeing the children come out. We have a therapy dog called Bailey, so he'll be out with some of the children. Um, it's a nice safe space for them. It's not just going to be used by one class or one child, it's going to be used by different children for different reasons. And it's just going to be nice to see them reach their full potential and thrive. So at the Hawthorne Primary School project, we created a forest garden um, by which we supplied over 170 volunteering hours, which was made of six members of our staff. We created a decking area, a raised play area with a rope walk, a bug house, and it was a scheme that we were really proud of and as a local contractor we were proud to be a part of it. We have supported Friends of Perry Park throughout the whole duration of the Alexander Stadium redevelopment through small grants and volunteer time. Using the time bank we've created a wildflower meadow area which will create biodiversity and will be used by Friends of Perry Park and enjoyed by the local community in years to come. Friends Prairie Park was started in 2018 because we were worried about the condition of the park at the time. It was very run down and we came together as a group with the intention of trying to get people back in to, to the park and to also try and get something back in that was missing. And so I applied to Seven Trent for a grant to put a wildflower meadow in this area. When we looked at it and walked over it, we realised it was a bigger project than we had anticipated. The weeds were two foot high. McLaughlin and Harvey have supported Friends of Prairie Park with their Time Bank community project. and They have rotivated the area for us twice. They have helped us to sow the wildflower seeds which we obtained from Seven Trent. Hopefully, come the spring, we shall have some wildflowers growing. I joined Friends of Perry Park because I wanted to meet other people and look after my immediate environment. I have the M6 within 100 metres, I have the A34 less than that. We need green stuff within the city and Perry Park is, is part of that. I live next door to it, I love it, I want to encourage people to walk in it, play in it and also just enjoy it. To the Friends of Perry Park to have this area looking attractive and pretty uh, is most important, especially for biodiversity and natural life with birds and insects, the help from McLaughlin and Harvey has been essential. Through the Umatter Time Bank, McLaughlin and Harvey and our supply chain have helped to construct a steel frame shelter for Nietzsche's Pod using over 300 hours of volunteer time. So to begin with, we have the grain workers, SGCE. They did all the foundations and bases for the project. Then we have MJ Patch providing all the steel work. Avondale, who fitted the timber roof. 
um, CG Realm supplied this. Matt Roofing doing the final roof and guttering. King of Moffat doing all the electrics. And finally, Dunningham Decorators who gave a final paint finish to the steel that MJ Patch provided. It's been a good process of um, seeing it getting built and seeing the different stages of it. I think the shower looks really good. Um, it's a big open space that we can do loads of different activities in. I like the colours of it as well. It matches our kind of logos and our branding. The weekly activities that we will be doing outdoors are our Tai Chi. We also do coffee mornings, which uh, we can do outside when the weather is warm. We also have a walking group who will meet in our playground area and it will provide a waiting area for them. Um, family activities, after school activities as well. It's been an interesting project to work on. There's been some good collaboration with our supply chain and I'm sure this project will leave a long lasting legacy for Neutral Pod in the years to come. For me personally, I do think it, uh, it's a really good kind of structure. Um, it is well built as well. We've also had some good feedback from the community members who've seen the shower and also used the shower uh, since it's been up and they've, they've given us some good feedback on how it looks and that it looks a part of our building and their community. McLaughlin Harvey have delivered a social value programme on the Alexander Stadium. It's good for us to give back to communities and for myself and the whole project team to be involved to create some projects like this. So now we're approaching the end of the project, we've successfully delivered three rounds of the UMATA Community Scheme. We've engaged and supported 53 local organisations through donating over 660 hours of volunteer time and over £40,000 in small grants. We're really proud to have benefited communities and to have left a lasting legacy in Birmingham.